Uh, another uh, topic that an attorney had come to us uh, with some questions on has to do with uh, surgical hypothermia, right? The, the, the notion that when you're doing major cardiothoracic surgery, you basically cool the body of the patient in order to prevent certain types of cellular level damage. Um, there is a gold standard and there's a way that this particular defendant surgeon had done it. The gold standard was to reduce the body temperature to a certain level, uh, but this uh, defendant surgeon didn't uh, reduce the temperature to um, what was thought to be a sufficiently low level. What ended up happening was the patient woke and um, realized that they were paraplegic. So the attorney asked us, well, if this is the gold standard and the surgeon did it in a certain other way, what justification did he have, if any? And can you point to us, sort of point us to literature saying that yeah, in fact, um, the gold standard deep hypothermia is the way to achieve this and to minimize risks associated with this procedure. And uh, once again, the attorney was able to get the answers that he was looking for and have those answers backed by current research on this topic. If you're an attorney who would like to request a strategic research document or just enter into a conversation with us, I say the best place to start is our website, there is a pathway to submit a formal request there or just to give me a call. My phone number is 646-362-4571. I can also be reached at ricky at expertinstitute.com.